What's up, brother fam? Welcome back to a brand new whip review. I am back at Audi West Chapel, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 things that you need to know about the 2021 Audi A6. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, let's ride. This is the 2021 Audi A6. So basically this car is a very gorgeous sedan. So now let's take a quick walk around it. To the front, you have a nice single frame grille. It's very distinct. And this one is all black tire. You don't have chrome on it. And the only chrome that you have is the Audi logo and that's it. So you have two radars, one on each side of the grille. In other cars, you will have them on the lower bumper, on each side of the lower bumper. But on this one, you have it on the grille. So and they are for safety features. And also you have a quattro badge over there. It's very nice. The frame is black. So this car is a black metallic, so it's very nice. And you're gonna see my reflection all over it. So over here, you have LED headlights with dynamic turn signal and daytime running light. And over here, you have some nice cutouts. They're not for airflow, they're just for design purpose. And right at the center, lower center, you have this nice sporty lip, giving the car a very aggressive and sporty look. So now let's check over the side and see what we have. So to the side, you have 20 inch wheels and you have bicolor rims, very gorgeous on this car. You can see the body lines, they're very pronounced, very, very distinct to this car and they are popping out. They start from the front of the hood and the side, the fender, they follow through all the way to the back. So you have turn signal on the mirror, you have black towel frame around the windows. This is part of the black optic package that you have on this car. And this is the reason why you have a black towel grille up front. So this car is a sedan, so you don't have really have like a deep sloping roof line because it's a sedan. And it ends at the back with a nice small trunk. It's very nice. So now let's check what we have at the back. At the back, you have a nice trunk and the edge of the trunk is shaped like a spoiler. This is very cool on the car. So you have chrome Audi logo. Right below it, you have this nice black bar. On the standard model, it would be chrome, but because of the black optic package, again, you have it all blacked out. So it takes up the entire middle of the trunk and follows through inside the tail lights. So you have fully LED tail lights on this car with dynamic turn signal. So right here, you have the A6 badge, Quattro badge over there. So going lower, you have a reflector on each side of the bumper. And over here, you have fake exhaust or non-functional exhaust. And the actual exhaust are behind it facing the ground. But this is a nice, cool design. And you don't have any chrome on it because of the black optic again. But overall, this is a very, very nice sedan. And you cannot go wrong with this car. This is a very nice car to get. When it comes to dimension, the A6 is a very long one. It is 194.4 inches long, 74.3 inches wide, and 57.4 inches tall. It runs on four independent sports suspension controlled by the Quattro all-wheel drive system with ultra technology. So this technology pretty much keeps the car grounded at all time, improves stability and traction at the same time. This A6 is a 45 Premium Plus. It is powered by a 2-liter turbocharged V4 engine that can produce around 248 horsepower with 273 pound-feet of torque. So Ali judged that this car can go from 0 to 60 in about 5.4 to 5.5 seconds. And it is controlled by a 7-speed automatic gearbox with four different modes. You have Auto, Dynamic, Comfort, and Individual, which is the Ali Drive Select. So the fuel efficiency in this car is about 21 miles per gallon in the city and 31 on the highway. The A6 is packed with all kinds of convenience features, but let me show you the keyless entry. So with your key in your pocket and you want to unlock the car, all you got to do is approach the car, place your hand behind the handle and you unlock it just like this. Now, if you wish to lock it while you're getting out and your key is in your pocket, all you got to do is tap the sensor on the handle 
and you lock it just like this. Now, if you wish to open the trunk and your key is still in your pocket or you're holding on to something, all you gotta do is a small key to the middle bumper and you open the trunk just like this. Unlike the A8, the A6 doesn't have a power trunk, so you do not have a button on the trunk to just press it and put it down automatically. So you still gotta do it manually. Now, let's check the interior of the A6. So pretty much it's very spacious in front of it. That You cannot go wrong with that. So you have all leather interior and you have leather armrests over here, leather seats. These are the comfort seats. These are not um, the sportiest version you can get, but they're still sport inspired because they still wrap you around, but they are normal comfort seats. And you can see all the stitching on it. You can see all the details, very luxurious on this car. And it's very nice, very comfortable. I can tell you that for sure. So right at the center console, you have wood on the center console. You have this chrome around it or silver, matte silver finish on the side, metallic. And you have two screens, one for the MMI, one for the climate control, and they are all torch screens. You have wood on the dashboard, and you have wood on the door as well. You have the same silver, matte silver finish over here. Very, very nice. You got some silver buttons over there. Very nice. So the combination of the silver, the black, the, the leather, the wood inside the car is very, very luxurious. And you have the virtual cockpit over here on the driver's side. You have all leather steering wheels. You can see all the detail, all the stitching on it. It's a multifunction steering wheel. And you can see at the middle of the steering wheel, it is shaped just like the grille in front of the car. And this is very nice. Very, very nice in this car. And you have, of course, you have the alley badge right here. So on this side, you have some storage. It's not too much. You can fit small items inside there. And underneath the armrest, you have the Audi phone box and a little storage for maybe one pen two pen two pencils whatever on this side right there right here i have my car key in here and you have two slots for usb-c connectivity very very good so two cup holders over there 12 volt socket place right here and you have a little placeholder for your key when you get inside the, the car you can pretty much place your key right in here so you have letter shift knob and the start engine button is all black it very is very different than other models where you have the silver one but this one is all black it's very different very nice and the the volume knob is over there so last thing i want to say is that you have a nice sunroof on this car and it can open up all the way to the back very nice all right now let's talk about the practicality inside the a6 so pretty much you have a lot of space in front of the car and right now i have the driver's seat pushed all the way back and I can reach the brake pedal and I can reach the gas pedal and I am six feet tall. So if you're over six feet tall, you're gonna have a nice time driving this car. And if you're shorter, just adjust your seat, adjust your sitting position and find a comfortable spot to drive the car as well. So this is not a complaint inside this car. So you have like um, power seats, you can pretty much adjust it however you want. So now let's check the practicality at the back. At the back, you're pretty much sitting like a VIP. So this car is very long. So this is the reason why you have a lot of space at the back. So I still have the driver's seat pushed all the way back. And look, look at all this knee room that I have, all this leg room that I have. And I'm not even talking about headroom because you don't have a sloping roof line in this car. So you don't have to worry about headroom at all. And you have this curve on the roof line pretty much that give you extra space for your head to pretty much fit in, you know? So you don't have to worry about anything at the back right, right here a lot of knee room a lot of head room a lot of leg room so it's very very comfortable and you have the comfort seats making you feel like you're pretty much sitting on a cloud that's it now we're back up front to talk about the mmi system so pretty much when you switch the car on so you hear this nice melody that pretty much it's like the car is welcoming you and it's a very nice sound. So the steering wheel is going to tilt down and the seat is going to move back to your set driving position because when you're getting out of the car, the steering wheel tilts away and the driver's seat push back to let you get out of the car. That gives you extra space to get out of the car. It's very convenient. So now let's talk about the infotainment system. So underneath the armrest, you have the Audi phone box. So this is a wireless charger for your phone, this pad right here. And also, when your phone is inside this box, you have better service inside the car because it's a signal booster using the antenna of the car. And also, there is a little spot on the, on the pad where you can place your key just in case your battery died inside the key. And you can just place the key right here and you're going to be able to start the car and drive it away. And also, you have two USB-C connectivity right here as well for faster charging and connectivity. So... 
you have two screen at the center right here so this 10.1 inch screen it's a touch screen it's for the mmi system and the one below it is for the climate control it's an eight inch screen so when you click on something you can feel the haptic feedback and you can hear it as well you can hear a click sound and also you can change the fan speed temperature right here everything that you would normally do with the climate control and you can just slide on the side and change the temperature as well so for the MMI system you can pretty much have access to everything that you need inside the car so like radio media your phone um, navigation vehicle settings all those kind of things everything related to the car is right here and you can see the drive select as well this cool animation it gives you the car the actual car a 3d version of the car it's not just any a6 just it's like a replica of your car the car that you are sitting in so it's very nice so to the driver's side you have this 12.3 inch screen which is the virtual cockpit the audi virtual cockpit plus so it's very refined it's very clear this is hd and you can see everything all the details very nice so you have information about the car you have information about media your phone services right there you can make phone call from here and you can see the navigation as well and also there there are two views so you can pretty much make it bigger or make it smaller so it's very nice very convenient at last you have the bang and Olufsen sound system with 3d sound effect and you have 16 speakers that's gonna give you premium sound inside this car when it comes to safety this car comes with adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist active lane keeping assist hands-on detection steering wheel airbags front knee and overhead blind spot assist audi side assist Audi presense with brake assist, top view camera and parking system plus. This version of the A6 is priced right around $61,000 and it's available at Audi West Chapel. If you have any questions or inquiries about this car, feel free to contact Maria. She'll be able to help you wherever you are in the country. Now let's talk about the drive a little bit. This version of the A6 is not the fastest or the most powerful one. This one shares the same engine as the standard A4 with 248 horsepower. If you want more performance out of the A6, of course, there is always the option of tuning the engine, but I would recommend getting the V6 engine, which will give you an output around 335 horsepower, much quicker. The A6 is a very smooth car to drive, the steering feels very comfortable, and the suspension feels very nice as well. This car has a long wheel base, so you gotta be precise taking corners. Optional on this car, you have rear steering, where the tires at the back will turn in the opposite direction to the front wheels at low speed to help you decrease that turning radius and ease on those turns. And at high speed, they will turn in the same direction as the wheels up front to help keep the car stabilized. Now let's enjoy the rest of this demo. Alright Rider fam, thank you so much for watching this review of the 2021 Audi A6. So if you enjoyed this review, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, hit that like button right now. It's gonna help the channel a lot. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other reviews that I'll be posting. And also, you can watch the other reviews that we have on this channel. So now, until we meet again, let's keep riding.